everybody, it's Cash here, and in today's video, I'm going to go over the cost of getting your plans approved in Joshua Tree, California. So stay tuned to this video. I think it's going to be very useful because when I first bought my land in Joshua Tree, I thought I could develop it and be ready to build it for less than $15,000. Now, I learned that through the hard way, so in this video, I am going to give you guys the cost of really getting your plans approved and how much it costs to get your plans approved. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this one. And like always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on for some more fire content. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so the number one cost when you are going to get your plans approved in Joshua Tree, California, are number one, you have to have some land. Now, land in Joshua Tree can range anywhere from $5,000 to $200,000. Now, when you do see land on the market from $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, uh, I would kind of stay wary of that type, those lots, either being because they're probably not buildable, being that they're being sold that cheap. Usually when the land is around $20,000, that's when you start to you know, understand that, okay, this is probably a buildable lot. So buildable lots really do range anywhere from twenty to $200,000. Now, the cost of the lot really depends on location, utilities, and size. So the closer it is to the park, more than likely it's going to cost more and more and more. So personally, I think buildable lots in Joshua Tree range anywhere from $20,000 to $200,000, mainly depending on what you are looking for. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do after you get your land is you're gonna to wanna to get a site plan. Now, a site plan is done by a local surveyor who will map out your lot, put boundaries on all corners of your lot, even map out the topography of your lot, and place out all your native plants on your parcel of land as well. The surveyor will come out and map out, you know, your boundaries and your plants, and after you have that, now you know exactly where you'll be able to place your home. Now, it's important to do this before you get your architect, because if you get to tell your architect to draw up your plans and then after you do a survey report and you find out that you have washers running through your lot and Joshua trees on your lot, you might be in a position where either your home has to be moved or you can't even place a home on your lot at all. So I would highly suggest getting your site plan done first to map out these things and to put your architect in a better situation to map out your home. Now my site plan costs me $1,800. Uh, site plans can cost anywhere from $1,500 to $4,000. Now, when it's been more than $4,000, unless you're getting a topography report on the lot as well. Now, keep in mind when the surveyor comes out to map out the Joshua trees, that is an extra fee. So, anywhere really from $1,800 to $4,000, it's what's really expected for a site plan on your property. Now, the next thing you're gonna to need to get your plans approved is an architect or a drafter. Now, what an architect and a drafter are gonna do what is going to bring your idea to life and to plot out your property and the structure of the property, everything that's that you envision to make in your home. An architect can range anywhere from, I've seen architects from $2,000 to all the way up to $40,000 to $50,000. My architect costed me $5,000 with corrections and, every, and everything. We were probably around $6,500 just from architectural drawings. Now with architectural drawings, you will need structural plans as well from a structural engineer. My structural engineer plans costed me $7,000. So altogether, I was only about $13,500 for my architect and my structural engineer drawings. Quite costly, but is what it is. I think you can get around $10,000 in that price range, but that is going to be the cost of your architectural drawings and your structured engineer drawings. So the next thing you're gonna need is a perk test. Now, a percolation test is a test to test out the soil and the water absorption rate in your soil. I just looked that definition up because I didn't know, but all I do is you need a perk test for your property, especially in the desert. So make sure you get a perk test. A perk test can range from anywhere from $2,000 to $4,000. Mine cost me $2,200. I'm pretty sure you guys might be able to find something cheaper. Definitely need it to get your plans approved, then that's another fee that you will need to pay. All right, another thing you're gonna need to get your plans approved is a grading plan. Now, a grading plan basically determines what you're gonna be grading on your lot to put your house up and put your driveway up. So a local engineer will have to come out to your property, check out your property, and write you up a grading report to submit to the city. Now, another thing you're gonna need for the city is fire plans. Now, fire plans are it's not as expensive as all these other tests, but it's a form that you fill out online, which ranges from, depending on your lot size and your home size, anywhere from $400 to $600. 
I think one thing that is super slept on, and it's something that you definitely have to keep across of, is paper. Now when you submit to the city, you're gonna need three sets of your plan to submit to the city. So now going to FedEx and printing out three copies of about 20 sheets of 24 by 30 inch paper is expensive. My first time going to FedEx and printing and making an order for this cost around $360. I, like I always say, I had three corrections, three go rounds. So $360, multiply that by three, you do the math. I was close to $1,000 in paper. You know, that's something I didn't account for at all. And that's something that's very, very slept on. So keep that in mind. Paper will range around $800 to $1,000. My suggestion for paper is don't go to FedEx, go to a local print store. Did that on my last one, come find out. I was able to print out my, my copies for around $200. So that will save you a little bit of money if you go to a local print shop and not a FedEx or UPS. So do that, save you guys about $250 to $300. But paper is definitely an expense and ex count an extra thousand dollars for that. Okay, city fees. Now city fees were probably my most costly expense behind architectural drawings. The first plan submit will cost me about $600 just to submit my plans to the city. Yeah, it was a $600 fee, but that is not a reoccurring payment. So even if you have the city dishes back to your corrections, that covers every resubmittal back to the city. So my grading plan submittal was actually $5,000. Now that was quite costly. I wasn't expecting to pay that much, but um, I guess it is what it is. Depending on your property, your lot, and everything, you can be anywhere from, I think about $3,500 to $6,000 on your grading plan submittal. So uh, definitely account for that as well. School fees. So when my plans got accepted, I have to pay a school fee in order to start building on my properties. School fees cost me $4,900. And now that is based on the square footage of your property. So my property is 1450, is, is 1,456 square feet. So if your property is more than that, around 2,000 square feet, Expect to pay about seven to eight thousand dollars in school fees. School fees are very, very expensive. Now, my building permit. The building cost me fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, that's kind of something that I was expecting. So fifteen hundred dollars, nothing, nothing too crazy on that. But on a plan, just plan submittal fees to the city cost me around twelve thousand dollars that I did not account for at all. All right, so let's just add up all these fees right now and let's just get the bulk number of what it costs to get your plans approved in the city. All right, so here we go. So let's just say you get a parcel of land for a good deal and you get something for $20,000. So with closing costs and everything, you're probably gonna be all in at $21,500 for a good parcel of land. So let's just put that up right there. Now, the next thing you need is a site plan. Well, let's just say you got a site plan, somebody come out there on a low end for $1,500. So next, architect. A good architect, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, architect and structural engineer drawings for $11,000. I think that's a pretty reasonable price. Let's see you get somebody to do your grading plan for, let's say about $3,000. Fire plans, $400. Paper, another thousand dollars. Let's add corrections to that because as you the city dispatch your plans, you're gonna to have to get those plans corrected. So let's add another thousand dollars for corrections. And city fees, let's just say, let's say twelve thousand dollars. Now I can't really add all that up right now. That was just too many numbers, but altogether you're going to be looking to pay this much to get your plans approved in Joshua Tree, California. Now let's just say we take off the land, the cost of the land, just in fees to get your plans approved in Joshua Tree, you're going to be looking to pay about this much money. So guys, you know, this is what you're going to look at and there's really no way to cheap this out. It's a lot of fees, a lot of fees that come from the city and a lot of fees that architects, surveyors, and perk, perk tests and engineers are charging nowadays because everyone is loaded up with work from everyone trying to build and develop uh, in today's market and especially in Joshua Tree as well. You know, these are the prices and uh, really this is what you're looking at. And uh, if anyone has developed and done things in the area for way cheaper and had a cheaper architect, feel free to leave those in the comments below. But yeah, that's pretty much what you're gonna be spending to get your plans approved. So I definitely wanted to shed light on this topic, especially because I really wish I would have knew this you know, going into going into the uh, Joshua Tree development. 
Yeah, but it is what it is. That's the first to do it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, let me know what you want me to shed light on more in the video, what's needed, um, you know, how to pick an architect out, how to find this or that or that. I would love to talk more about it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And let me know what you think. But like always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the video for some more fire content. Peace.